Here in Lincoln, one man's idea of community stretches far past the city limits. Each winter, he holds a coat drive for the Pine Ridge Indian Reservation. It's about eight hours away. And just last week, the reservation reached out to him asking for something different, stuffed animal donations. <coughs> 10 11's Grace McDonald had the chance to catch up with him today about this last minute charity effort. Grace? What sticks with Bill Hawkins about the Pine Ridge Indian Reservation is the kindness of the volunteers. In particular, one woman made a big impression on him. She recently died, and now he's helping the reservation remember her. Businesses and community members know Bill Hawkins as Farmer Bill. It helps me get things done. For the past seven years, the 68-year-old has been collecting donations for the Pine Ridge Indian Reservation. This time, instead of winter coats, Farmer Bill is asking Lincoln for stuffed animals. Um, I believe that every kid has the right to have a cuddly little toy. The stuffed animals will be handed out at Pine Ridge's annual powwow in memory of Eileen Janice, a Lakota woman who was part of the BEAR program. It's a nonprofit that helps improve the lives of families on the reservation with literacy programs and donation services. There aren't any resources. It's just, um, it's right next to the Badlands. Farmer Bill is recruiting local businesses to help this new cause. We have people coming in, dropping things off almost every day. In Nebraska, I think it's important to realize um, who our neighbors are and how we can help them. He placed blue barrels at Goldenrod Pastries, Metal Lark Coffee, and the Open Market Co-op. Hoping to fill them, he'll then drive eight hours to the reservation in northwest Nebraska and southwest South Dakota. It's 1,000 miles there and back but the journey is worth it to Farmer Bill. It's just something that I can do to connect this community with that community. People can donate bedding, summer clothes, and stuffed animals until August 2nd. Bill will then hit the road to deliver everything ahead of the powwow on August 5th.